Welcome to Kitty Unfiltered. My name is Kitty and this is Pan That Palette Update 1.5 where I'm only 15 days into actually really the panning the palette and I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. So let's get into it and I'll show you why. I'll be priming my eyes using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Stormy Pink. Okay, so I'm only 15 days in, which is two weeks. Honestly, after two weeks, I thought I would be seeing more progress than this. Now we'll be setting that jumbo eye pencil with the white color from the Lorac Pro palette. Now if you look in there, you can see in this corner here, you can kind of see a little bit of a dip. So at least there's one thing in this challenge that's going well for me. Okay, next going into the actual Naked palette and going into the shade Naked. And even though I use a ton of this all over my eye, there is not even the teeniest, tiniest dip even though I'm only using this upper spot here. You can barely see a little bit difference of a color change and that's it. So I've just been drilling down in the same spot over and over and like I said, I set this everywhere that that jumbo eyeshadow and milk isn't. So you think that I would be going through this faster, but no, it doesn't even look used except for maybe a slight color variation. And this was the second color I thought would show change. I thought I'd see change in white first, which I do, but I thought I'd be seeing change in naked by now, which I'm not. And the next color I'm using is Buck. I've been dipping in right up here in this top part. Again, you can see maybe a little bit of a color change, really not much of a difference. Now for this one, I wasn't really expecting to see much of a difference in it. So I'm not too worried about it at this point because I don't use near as much of it as I do of Naked. But I was hoping I'd see a little something. So like I said, I'm not quite as disappointed in this one. But to be honest, I can almost see more of a change in it than I can in Naked. Which is weird because I use Naked more than Buck. Next I'm going to put some concealer over the lid to give the Sin and the Sidecar colors a little bit of a stickier base. They work fine without it. I just like a little more punch from the colors, so I like putting the concealer down just to give the colors a little extra oomph. And now finally for some good news, even though I wasn't expecting to see any progress in this color, Sin is kicking butt right now. It has a huge dip in it. It actually shows the most use out of any of the colors I was using, which is funny because it's one of the ones that I use the least. But maybe it's just the way the formula's packed, but it's really... I seem to be not really flying through it, but at least Sin gives me hope. The Sin color is the one that it's like, okay, you're only 15 days in, even though you're expecting to see more progress. Don't get discouraged because there is progress somewhere. Maybe you just need to work a little harder to get to it. Now for gunmetal, I thought I would see the most progress in it besides the white. But as you can see, there might be a little bit of a dip right there. But it is not showing much progress at all. And again, I use a lot of this. I use a lot more than I do of Sin, but considering this is the color I was focusing on this month, that makes it all the more kind of discouraging. If Sin had been the focus color, I'd say this month was going good. But since Gunmetal is the focus color, I'm feeling the pressure. Okay, now to define that out a little with the black color in the Lorac Pro. Again, I wasn't really expecting to see any progress in this one. There's almost a teeny tiny touch of side pan in that corner right there. But since I used so little of this, I wasn't expecting a lot of progress in this color. Although I am expecting to see progress by the end of the month because it is a more powdery product. Uh, but at this stage, I'm not too worried about it. Okay, now to finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be back to finish the eyes. Okay, the rest of the face is done for the most part. I'm going to take Naked from the Urban Decay Naked palette and then Black from the Rock Pro palette and put those on my, kind of like my lower lash line. Okay, so that's the look that I have been doing every day for 15 days now, and I am halfway through the month, and I'm still just, I must say, I'm very discouraged if it wouldn't be for the progress in the sin color right there. I mean, I would be super discouraged, but on the other hand, I guess, you know, like, 
this palette had barely been touched. Most of my eyeshadow palettes are barely touched. I buy them, I use them once or twice, sometimes don't even use them at all. Just put them in the container, in the bin with the rest of my eyeshadows thinking that magically by owning them somehow I'll be good at makeup and that I'll be pretty and popular and YouTube famous and internet famous and everybody will love me when that's not the way the world works, but I keep wasting money trying to do the same thing. So my palette had barely been used, like I said, maybe a couple times before I started this challenge. So I know it's going to take me a little longer, especially to see product because I didn't have, or to see progress because I didn't have any dips in anything. But man, it is really discouraging. If it wasn't for that progress and sin right there, it's like, whoa, this would be a tough one. But I, I, I don't know. I'm going to keep it up. I'm going to keep using the same look through the end of the month. Then I'll have another look for January. I've already picked it out. But I mean, the whole thing is the purpose of this month was to use gunmetal. And there is maybe barely teeny tiny of a little bit of a dip in there. But I mean, you can, you can barely tell. It's just... I don't know. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep working. I am not going to give up, even though I really would want to just throw this palette out by the Sultry palette and use it, because uh, it seems pretty common or pretty similar in a way to this. But no, I'm going to... It's the principle of the thing. This is like a cult favorite, and it's a cult favorite project pan, pan that palette. I'm going to do it. I am going to get through this. I'm going to drive myself insane but it will get done. So yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm half defeated, but half like, uh, you know, like Cheeto on a gazelle. Like part of me is just like, oh my God, this is never going to happen. And the other part of me is like, no, we're going to do this. We're going to fight. We're going to claw. We're going to make this happen. So yeah, here's hoping, but I'll, I'll see you in 15 days for the actual end of the month update. And then to go over February's look, but Hopefully now that I've got this kind of out of my system, I'll get a little more calm and a little more into it. It just is a little bit discouraging, the progress on that gunmetal color, because that's the one the progress was supposed to be on, but whatever, I'll get, I'll get it eventually. So yay, that's kind of a mid-month update. I probably won't really do mid-month updates for the entire year, but it was just, um, just this month was just you know, 15 days in the beginning of the challenge. And I thought maybe other people who are trying to start a challenge like this, maybe they will feel a little similar kind of uh, angst at this moment in their project as well. So I thought I'd share it because maybe my experience, you know, will help somebody else or maybe other people are feeling the same way. And they're like, oh, that's okay. Other people feel that way, but they're not giving up either. So, all right. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you all later. Bye.